It's a polygram. So, this is a little story about too much water and a lot of firefighters. Years ago, I was here in my ancient old house I live in. It's 106 years old, and I love it. <laughs> um, and I was upstairs. It's just I got a little upstairs, little downstairs. It's a little house. And I, I hear something, and I go downstairs, and oh, my God. So, and I, the floors are wood. And I go downstairs, and, like, there's water pouring out of the... Uh, somewhere, right? Like somewhere, but it's like uh, my floor is flooded, and I, I go to this closet that I use as a closet. It was, I guess, when it, the house was built, it was supposed to be like made into a bathroom, but I just like store a bunch of stuff in there. And there's this like hole in the wall where I think like a pipe is supposed to be, but it's not. <laughs> so it's just water like flooding out of this thing, out of this not closet into the room that is like, has a, di it's a dining room. I don't eat in there though. <laughs> has a dining room table, but I like stuff stored on it. So it's flooding into this thing and I'm like, oh my God. And I grab a bucket. I'm like, grab this bucket fast as I can. And I go to the hole in the wall where the water's pouring out of it. I'm like sweating and I'm running back and forth and I'm pouring the bucket down the sink to try to keep the water, more water off the um, off the floor. So I go back and forth and I'm running. I had just, I've been in bed, so I just had like a tank top on and like some like cut off flannel pajama bottoms. And I'm like wet and I'm sweating and I'm doing the thing. So my phone is on, this is a few years ago. It was like, like the earliest like cell phone. So I called my assistant at the time, not Sweet Joey, it was somebody else. And I'm trying to say something and, and I'm trying to text and, and plus bail in water, bail in water, bail in all with this went on forever, right? So I'm like, ah, and of course, like what I do in emergency is I immediately call my pastor. <laughs> God, that's what I do. So I like call my pastor and I'm like, help. And then I call my neighbor, my, my godfather, um, Oliver, uh, my Hollywood dad. And I'm like, ah, I'm like freaking out. And like, I'm soaking wet and I'm sweating to death. I don't know what to do. And like, I can't really remember exactly how everything happened next. But like, what I remember is me like bailing water, like going back. I'm like, go and I'm getting it out of the sink, out of the sink, out of the sink. And, and pour, I mean, get it out of the wall, pouring it in the sink, out of the wall, pouring in the sink, out of the wall, pouring in the sink. And then I thought in my mind, you know what, if I open my front door and I bail it out of the wall and throw it out the front door into the yard, it's a shorter way to go than going back and forth to the sink. So I was okay. So I opened, my dogs were upstairs, by the way, all my pets and my cat at the time. Everybody was upstairs in my bedroom. So I'm bailing the water and I noticed when I started throwing it outside that the water sucked, went, went down some. And I, I didn't think anything about it, but I thought, well, so I'm going, and I'm going, and going, and then my, my, all of a sudden, it's like, to me, it's like everything happened at once. It's like, my neighbor, Oliver, came in through the front door, and he's like, honey, and the, all these firefighters, all guys, so I can call them firemen, like, I feel like it was like 10 of them, like, all came through my back door at the same time, and then my pastor, Kathy, she's from Alabama like me, she shows up, and it's like, chaos but I'm like exhausted and I can't stop breathing I mean I can't breathe right so I like slink down onto the floor and I'm like soaking wet I'm in like an old tank top and like these cut off flannel pants and I'm like ah, 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 ah. I think I'm like I'm dying I'm, I'm I'm just exhausted and I'm soaked and the firefighters are like everywhere and they're so so cute because you know it's firefighters. And I'm like, like, oh, hey. And I feel stupid and embarrassed. And I'm like sitting on my floor gasping for breath in my pajamas. And uh, and my pastor's there. And, and she's like praying over me. And then my godfather, Oliver, comes over. And he's like, uh, you come here, girl. Yeah, we got you. And he's like praying over me. And he's helping the firefighters. And they go through all the stuff. And like, 
it was like there was a pipe, the pipe in the wall that had some kind of, I don't know. I don't know actually what the answer was because that's not the point of the story. The point is that they fixed it. They made the water stump come in. And I said to them, I was like, thank you so much. It's like, what way? He said, well, it shouldn't have, like, it, sh it was just a, a leak, but like, it was just a little like thing of water and like, it shouldn't have lasted that long or whatever and they were like what like what happened i said well i kept i was taking the water out of the wall and pour it in the sink i did pour it in the sink i was flooding my own house everything that i collected in the bucket that i poured in the sink was collected to the it was connected to the line that was putting the water back into my house so that was embarrassing so i'm like thanks guys like oh my god like i love you so much thanks so much and i'm like i mean i could see them looking at each other like oh my god she just fluttered there was a leak in my wall but i every time i put the buckets filled it up and put it in the sink again it went straight back out to the wall so i was continually flooding my house and i'm like oh my god so everybody leaves i'm very grateful and i call my girlfriend trish so my girlfriend trish is one of my very best friends in the world and we've been friends we used to be models together in new york when we were in our 20s um and my daddy called her daughter and she called daddy dad like she's family so i call trish afterwards and i'm like oh my god trish you're not gonna believe this and i'm like i feel it's so stupid and i'm like i told her the whole thing and then i said it i'm like i'm like I, I am so embarrassed. I told the thing, and this is her response. Oh, my God. Put on a tank top again. I'll wear one, too. And let's do it again tomorrow for the firefighters. Because she wanted to meet the firefighters. I love her. <laughs> Lord. <laughs>